All right, guys, got a random video for you today, and that is let's talk about silence. What was that, five seconds of silence? Maybe, how awkward is that, right? Now, silence is something that we are getting more and more allergic to, but it's something we need more and more for health in our life. Do you know every single year, the amount of noise pollution, which is the phrase for the amount of noise and just ambient white noise, or even on top of that, the noise from trucks and the garbage men and your phone ringing and the oven beeping, whatever it is, that noise year after year continues to grow and there's less and less places where you can go to actually find silence. And so I wanna encourage you guys, have you ever actually pursued silence? Now, a couple thoughts on silence. The first thing is, if silence makes you cringe or immediately makes you tighten up when you think about being silent and quiet and pausing once per day for a long period of time, once per week, if that makes you cringe or that makes you tense up, that is probably the biggest sign that you need to pursue silence and solitude for yourself. Because it's kind of the place where you can go for emotional anchoring and stability. Now, don't romanticize it. A lot of people romanticize if I'm silent all these times, it'll be really spiritual and deep. No, it's actually the opposite and that's why we do cringe. When you do have a time of silence, it bubbles up all of the things in us that we don't wanna listen to, that we don't wanna hear, that we don't wanna think about. But my encouragement to you guys is be okay with silence and solitude and also push into the uncomfortableness of it. So you will feel those feelings. I'm not good enough, um, you know, things in I've passed that I'm ashamed of, um, you know, all these voices in your head come up in silence, but silence is an opportunity to take those and then sit with it before the feet of Jesus and actually see what he says. And he says, you are his beloved, you are his child, you are known, you are seen. And when you can have that tandem of like actually letting the things that are truly in the depths of your heart rise up, but actually sitting in them and knowing that they don't win, that Jesus wins and that he says a better word over you in your silence, those are powerful people. Those are people that when you meet, you know them because they're anchored, they're centered, they feel firm. They feel like that Psalm 1 tree that's planted firmly and deeply by streams of water. And so this is my challenge to you today. It's a simple challenge, but take 10 minutes to start. Turn off your phone or maybe set a timer in the other room so you can hear it when it goes off, but you can't hear if it buzzes something else, right? And just be silent right? And pause and concentrate on your breathing. That's what I do to just pause and rest and get a rhythm. And then when I'm able to do that for a few minutes, then I listen to Jesus. I talk to Jesus. I ask him questions. I say, Jesus, what do you say about me? If you ask Jesus, what do you say about me in silence? I bet you will get an answer you weren't expecting. And I bet you will get a source of joy in life that you maybe have not had before if you don't pursue that. So if we want to be people of God, if we want to be people that are firm and anchored and centered, we have to radically and intentionally go against the culture of noise. So that's our phones, that's the noise outside, etc. Now this does not mean noise is bad. What it means is that we have to have those anchorings to go into the noise properly. And you can meet the Lord in the noise just as much as you can meet him in the silence, but they're different things and we need both things. So let me know in the comments if this resonates. I'd love to hear if you are a person who rhythmically has silence and solitude in their life, how that's going for you, and um, maybe tips you have for everyone else in the comments. All right, love you guys. What's up guys, thanks for watching. I wanna give a huge shout out to this week's sponsor and that is the Unbound program. You know I love them. I spent thousands of dollars on college that I wish I would not have and Unbound helps you solve that problem. Now if you don't know what Unbound is, what they essentially do is they allow you to save thousands of dollars on your bachelor's degree. What they basically do is they show you how to take less expensive credits online that then they guarantee transfer to the school you wanna to go to. So the cool part is you can do this if you've already done college and wanna take extra classes or if you're about to go into college, but they will help you save thousands of dollars. And the cool part too is they're a community themselves. So because all you have to do is have an internet connection anywhere in the world to take these classes, then groups of students band together to go on trips, to study abroad, to go hike, etc. So we wanna hook you up. Go to getunbound.org slash Jeff. I'll put it right here and you can get a free quote today and start saving thousands of dollars. It's the smarter way to go and I promise you, I wish I knew about it when I was in college a decade or so ago because it is awesome. So link in the, pro link in the description. Make sure to check them out. Getunbound.org slash Jeff for your free quote today.